Welcome to another 5 Minute Guitarist tutorial where I teach you to play an entire song in just 5 minutes. Today's tutorial is for Say You Won't Let Go by James Arthur. Now this one's going to be the finger picking version, so if you're not ready for that you can check out my channel for a simpler, more beginner friendly chord version. Make sure to check out the description below for full lyrics with chords on top of them, as well as how to play each of the chords and any other techniques covered in this video. So this video is going to be pretty quick because you will use the exact same riff for the entire song. So you just need to learn one thing and you can play that for the whole song and you'll be golden. So that being said, let's get started. Put your capo on your third fret. So the chord progression this one is loosely following is G, D, E minor, and then C. So we've got four different sections or four different repeats of our riff and they're basically going to follow that pattern. So I'll play it for you first so you can see and then we'll go through it. So let's go through the first section. Uh, I'm going to say everything relative to the capo uh, when I'm telling you the fret positions. So we're starting with our second finger on the third fret of the sixth string and our third finger on the third fret of the second string. So a pattern for this one is basically going to be bass note and then play the second and third strings quickly and then mute them and then take off the third finger and play the bass note and the second and third strings. So what that's going to look like slowed down is put your fingers on the 3rd fret of the 6th and 2nd strings. So play the bass note, the 6th string, and then play the 2nd and 3rd strings with your 1st and 2nd fingers on the right hand. And then take off this and play the 6th string, the 2nd string, and the 3rd string. And then you're going to finish off with the 6th string, then the 3rd string, then the 6th string again. So that whole section slow together is going to look like this. And then we're going to use that same pattern for all of our next sections. So next we move on to the D. We can leave off the first string. You'll put your second finger on the second fret of the third string and your third finger on the third fret of the second string and leave those there. So then we'll play our bass note, which is the fourth string, and then play your second and third strings. And then like last time, take off your third finger and play the fourth, third, and second strings. And then again, like last time, we're going to play the bass note, so the fourth string, and then the third string, and then the fourth string. So together, that's going to look like this. So now combining those two, I'll show you what we've got so far. And then the next section is easiest one yet. All we have is the third finger on the third fret of the second string. And we're going to play the exact same pattern. Root note or sixth string, then second and third strings quickly, and then take the third finger off and play the open uh, on the sixth, the third of the second strings. And then end it off with an alternating of the sixth, the third, and the sixth string. So that section together is going to be like this. And then we go into our final section, which is a C chord. So you don't have to play, keep your middle finger on there. Um, so then again, like all the last ones before, start with your bass note on the fifth string, then play the second and third strings quickly, and then play the bass note or the fifth string the second and the third together. And then this is the only part that's different 
is you're going to go back to the bass note, and then you're going to play just the second string and pull off to the open. So work, pull offs work easiest if you just flick it almost a little bit at the end so you get that last note to really ring out. So that's going to be like... So this whole section will be... And you combine that together and you've got the entire riff. And that riff is played throughout the entire song, so once you've got that down, you're actually good for the whole song. As a limited time added bonus, I'm offering my first 1,000 YouTube subscribers a lifetime discount of 50% off everything I ever make. You heard me right. I want to give you 50% off everything I ever sell. Right now, I've got a beginner guitar course, and I plan to release lots of other content as I get set up. If you want to take this offer, just subscribe to my channel and look at the description below to claim your lifetime discount.